the Avia B534 from Czechoslovakia. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? And tonight we have a very interesting airplane from Czechoslovakia from 1934, the Avia B534. And this model is actually from KP uh, Plastic Models. Plastikov. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to try to say it in Czech. But this kit is really kind of cool. So let's go down to our table and check it out. Greetings once again. Now let's check out this nice little airplane from the Czech Republic from, World, from 1934. Now this one was also used in the war, but it's quite a unique little kit. Sort of an old world, old school kind of box. This one's got wrecked. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Okay, so we start with, we get a few little interesting pieces of paper in the model. So it gives you the history of this model kit. The Czechoslovak factory Avia was a producer of this, a successful line of sporting and fighter aircraft. And it goes on to tell you a lot of what happened with it. So they give you some paint schemes here. Oh well, they tell you how to build the Czechoslovakian version, the Slovak national uprising version, and a whole bunch of other things. So that's the first part of the instructions. And then I also have this, which seems to be the actual instructions. Showing you how it all goes together. There's the parts trees, there's the bits, and there's the final steps. You can also display it on a clear stand, it looks like. And then there's two of the paint schemes. Yeah. This is in German. This piece of paper. But don't worry, I seem to have another piece of paper here. <laughs> and this is written in Czech. So I guess you'll have to follow along um, and basically figure out what's going on for yourself in English here. However, the, this is the decal sheet. I don't know if the color registry is quite right, but they are quite bright decals. So these would be for the uprising, I think. But yeah, quite a cool little decal sheet. So now let's actually look at the plastic components. So we start with this tree. Very simple. These are all your struts and your propeller. And of course, there's your wheels. And you do get a full pilot figure in here. A little bit soft on detail. But if you're good at painting, you can always bring them up. See, quite a few neat things. Now, what makes this airplane kind of cool to me is the body. This almost looks like it could be a Spitfire or, well, not a Spitfire, but like a Hawker Hurricane or something like that. For the time period, it's a very modernized, almost World War II era body. The only thing is that it is a biplane. So imagine a Hawker Hurricane biplane. And that's basically what you get with this. But it's got these really nice... Uh, Art Deco style fender skirts for your wheels. There's some nice little grill kind of detail right there. And again, there are no sink marks. Oh, I'm wrong. There's one there and there. But very, very slight. There's the top wing. You can see lots of nice rib detail on here. There's a little bit of a blub right there on mine. 
Hopefully if you can find one of these, you won't have an error there. And then we finally get to our clear parts. You get a canopy and you also get that nice arrowhead stand. And that brings us to the end of our review of the Avia B534. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to look at the Czechoslovakian Avia B534 from 1934. And if you would like to see more of these model aircraft videos, please help us by going on to our YouTube homepage, clicking the PayPal icon, and making a contribution. And if you'd like to see what other model airplanes we have available, please check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca, and I'll leave a link to our model airplane section down below. And if you'd like to see some other reviews of great model airplanes, please check them out here, here, here. And don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification button right down here. And until next time, Happy flying!